Mr. March, everyone says you're mean and crazy. They're right. God damn it! Why does it have to be so loud? Harry, sorry! The more he has, the more he wants. Lap him. I don't know what scheme it's rattling around in that brain to be yours. Just promise me he won't do anything stupid. You're not really going to Mr. Lapham's dinner party, are you? There isn't going to be a dinner party. Ooh, we're on a mission. I want you to cut off your braid and give it to me. <laughs> really? The plan calls for horse hair or a suitable equivalent. You seem to like the doll. I'll take four. You beautiful doll. You order the horse hair? Yes, do you have it? You ought to be locked up. For anything you want to know about the destructive, witless 20th century, look to my unwanted neighbor. Not another lecture. You're very annoying. We're both very annoying. My wife has started writing. We were hoping you could read her novel. I could, but I wouldn't. Do you even think about how you appear to other people? This scheme of yours will mess up everything. You're not an 18th century man. You're acting crazy. You're talking to Hector. If he only knew! I'm coming to the new undertaking that will not only gratify me personally, but will also save much of civilization. Hang in there, Harry. The end is near. As if I needed reminding. You've been a wonderful audience. I'm here till doomsday.